What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we're doing another rebuild on Madden 20. It's a fantasy style rebuild. rebuild. I, I know. Not only did I just have a stroke mid-sentence, but the Ravens probably don't need a rebuild. However, no team is perfect, okay? Even though they're very damn close. <laughs> Not really, but they've got a lot going for them. However, you can see, there's some lower rated guys. You know, it's not perfect. Oh, Ron Ronnie's got... Damn. He is freaking amazing. Uh, but, of course, with great power comes great tackles and quarterback play. <laughs> Leave a like if you think the Ravens are going to lock up the number one seed tonight. Subscribe if you think the Patriots are going to lose to the Dolphins. I should have I should have switched that around because nobody's going to actually think the Patriots are going to lose to the Dolphins. So there goes all my subs. <laughs> but Marcus Peters, of course, signed to a, what was it, a four-year 42? No, it was a three-year 42. Damn. They paid him a lot. But I guess when you want corners, you want corners. Uh, Jimmy Smith will be on the way out, Brandon Carr will be on the way out, and then Tavon Young might just play the number three. I, d I don't know what we're going to do there. But yeah, I mean, on paper, in Madden, not a great roster. We don't always see them make this. Actually, we almost never make see them make the Super Bowl. Maybe the scheme needs to be changed. I don't know. Maybe the, some of these trades will fix some of the issues. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Of course, we need a new running back. As much as I like Mark Ingram in real life, in Madden, there's not a whole lot we're going to be able to do with him. So we're going to offer that man up. Maybe some others as well. So I think we can do it. I, okay, I think I think we can turn this into a god-tier squad. It's a good squad. Obviously, we know that in real life by the fact that they're making people pay. But we can make it better. Trust me. We can do it. We can do it. We traded Gus Edwards, Seth Roberts, and a third-round pick for a first-round pick from the Dolphins. Now, I have a plan for this. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I will cry. Ah, it worked. Pick one, Jefferson and Jimmy Smith for Chris Godwin. I am I'm proud of my ability to trade for receivers. So everyone keeps saying, get Quentin Nelson. Get Quentin Nelson. You're you're right. I mean, we will. I, I guess that's just gonna be the thing for fantasies from now on. So we traded first round Brandon Carr and Willie Sneed for Nick Chubb. It wouldn't be a me rebuild without trading for one of the division rivals' top players. And, you know, here we are, doing it again. But the thing is, in my defense, this one seems to fit pretty well. You can't lie. Crap, I didn't know it was going to happen. I traded... I don't even know what I traded. Here we are. Where are we? We traded a fourth round, Fort and Hayden Hurst for Jayon Brown. I might even try to rob... What's his name? Rashawn Evans off him. They're just the only ones willing to actually trade linebackers, which is weird, but they are. Nick Boyle, Justin Ellis for good old Shaq Mason. Offensive line, I think, is already set. Uh, unless we want to replace Yonda, which we realistically should, but we're not going to get as much back as he's worth, so... Oh, well. We did uh, Levine McPhee for the Cowboys' first and fourth round picks. He's the only team that wanted both of them, so... That's what we did. Not a huge fan of actually giving them that because their pick is probably going to be the worst possible. But we'll see if we can maybe move that as well before we get going. Trade Skura, Bozeman, and a third round next year for the Jets' first round pick. We traded a lot. <laughs> Marshall Yonda, Brandon Williams, and a first round pick for Zadarius Smith. Luckily, a lot of his contracts already paid off. Uh, but once again, we paid a lot, <laughs> but at least we do have two starting caliber outside players rather than having not much to work with. So eh, maybe we should have waited for the draft or something, but I'm a little impatient. What can I tell you? Tyus Bowser and Josh Bynes for pick three projected from the Bengals. Anawasur, Jalen Ferguson in a six round pick next year for the Giants first round pick. Trade Wormley, Chris Moore, and a second round next year for the Cardinals' first round pick. I'm starting to think we should probably get rid of that Cowboys first round, though. Like, let's be honest, what are we going to do with a Cowboys first round? We trade pick 50 this year, projection, Hurst for Geno Atkins. This is, this team's starting to get pretty godly. I don't know how long Geno Atkins lasts, but this should easily be a Super Bowl roster year one. I mean, even, you know, the starting receivers were enough... So Godwin, that, I mean, that's a huge improvement. We trade a left guard, a DT, and a fourth-round pick for the Dolphins' first-round pick next year. 
You wouldn't believe how much they wanted for Raekwon. I offered him a first round and those two players, they weren't having it. They weren't having it. He's only normal development, guys. I get this potential. This isn't a user league, all right? You guys aren't putting him up to Superstar X Factor like Derek. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. We trade Richards, a fourth round, was it next year? And Ward for San Reddick. And we might end up just keeping that first round pick because I don't know where else to put it. I literally just went through all the players that I would want on their team. And Jonathan Allen's the one, only one they would accept. Obviously, we went for Brandon Share first, but it didn't go. What do you want from me? Hey, Kalichi Assembly, how you doing? We got our offensive lineman. So here is the year one roster. It looks pretty good. I didn't even, wait, they gave? I had no idea Chris Godwin had Superstar. No wonder why he was a little bit harder to trade for this time. Nick Chubb, we know, had Superstar because he was kind of a shocker to me. Uh, obviously, he was he's a great player, but I just, I don't know why. I just felt like he wasn't going to be that good in that. And offensive line, uh, we, you know, we've obviously have had better, but at least we've had a couple of new names. Being that they started on the roster at tackle, <laughs> the guards, same old names. You know me, don't want to mix up the routine. Of course, Mark Andrews, super young, very fast. Defensively now, let's take a look at what we got. So, of course, two normal middle linebackers, but potential because they're young. Uh, outside linebackers, Judon, and then, of course, my man Zeus, Z, the Darius Smith out of very, well, having a very good year. And obviously, uh, definitely worth the trade, especially since we don't have to pay for him. Technically, the Packers are going to pay for all that. However, we still did take a pretty hefty penalty. We'll still be able to afford a lot of names year one, and all of that penalty will be gone for year two. But still, a hefty penalty is a hefty penalty. As long as you don't have to re-sign anyone too crazy this season, we'll be absolutely fine. He couldn't even get a single tackle for a loss, fumble, pick. I mean, come on negotiations all right so uh who do we want to pay nobody all right sounds good to me michael pierce uh yeah, yeah, yeah he's worth it probably right big fella i think we're gonna let judon go a 44 million dollar per i mean not per year a 61 million dollar deal for somebody who is 27 no real chance to upgrade a whole lot i know there's an upgrade point there Average pass rush ability. I, I don't think we're going to re-sign him. We need to do something with the draft picks anyways. And we're going to have to save money somewhere. Uh, do we pay Marcus Peters like he was paid in real life? Um, it's so tough because it's just like I don't want to pay him that, right? But I have to. I'm going to do it. Ugh. It is what it is. Right here it is. Winning in, losing, booze. Winning it, it is. All right, so we barely made it. Let's take a, no, not the playoff schedule. We have to play the Browns, which is just fantastic. Uh, they're twelve wins, and they didn't have, you know they didn't do enough to get a bye round, bye week, which is just insane. We lost to the Browns, Steelers, Patriots, Texans, Niners. Not bad teams to lose to. So I suppose if you're not going to have the best of seasons, which ten and six is fine. It you know it's fine. Uh, Lamar Jackson, not really running for Lamar Jackson numbers. Nick Chubb went off. Uh, Marquise Brown, there you go. That could be a dev up, hopefully. Offensive line play, pretty damn good. Uh, defensively, let's take a look at these sack totals. And, of course, good job, EA. Uh, pick totals, four total. Nice. Love it. How did we even make the playoffs with a defense like this? Seventh and offensive yardage. What about defensive yardage? Okay, yards were good, but what about points allowed and scored we scored sixth in the nfl so we had a lot of rushing touchdowns and then we've okay so we played a little bit maybe just didn't have any sacks or picks which usually are the things you need to compete in those uh categories but it's all right von miller 213 and one wow uh what about best anything anything at all best no best running back gotta be close right five really Nah, maybe he's not going to develop up at all, but I don't really care too much because he's already pretty beastly. What do you mean new ability? I thought he has like all his abilities, no? No like dead eye escape artist. So he gets extra abilities kind of because escape artist is a 95 ability, but since he already has it, he gets a second 95 ability, which is just absurd, but it is what it is. 89 overall to their 81 overall. We obviously have a team far superior to anyone in the league. I mean, we have so many X Factors, so many great players, lots of potential, and hopefully a Super Bowl win year one. Am I question? Yes.
I'll do it. All right, going to the end of the game. I think this might be one of our first, like, fifth-year option uses as well. I think we're going to use an option on Lamar because signing him long-term is quite... A nah, we'll sign him long-term. God damn it, Lamar. Always judging me. Defense is doing pretty well. Um, offense is doing pretty well as well. Oh, God. Don't give compliments ever. Just don't do it. Anytime you give a compliment, you lose. Okay, not only do I obviously want to win a Super Bowl, right? But I also want to use that man. Come on, Mark. All right, 60 yards. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. That's terrible for them. That was a great play. <laughs> yes. Mark Andrews was, uh, I was believing him in there. We got some really interesting numbers on the team. I'll put it that way. Good God. Oh, my God. He's so fast. He is so fast. Wait, is he already a superstar? Well, maybe X Factor. We'll see. Double move on Andrews. Could get Godwin on the outside. We won't. Jesus, this team is pretty solid. Mark Andrews is killing it, and I think he's probably going to score a touchdown. He will. God damn, that was too easy. And it's not like it's on easy difficulty or anything. It's just literally this team. I can't wait for them to score a huge rushing touchdown. I think we won, right? I think we won. I mean, you can't tell me in real life, three timeouts, 54 seconds, Lamar Jackson and all this speed, you don't feel pretty damn good about their chances. It's just the way the game's coded, you're going to get one playoff, 40 seconds are going to be gone, and all three timeouts are going to be sitting there. That It's just the way it is. I'm sorry. You, you might not like it. It's just the way it's got to be. Tell me we didn't deserve to win when Baker Mayfield threw three picks. Come on, boys. Come on, boys and gals. Let's be honest. There's not many of us girls around. Us girls? Uh, Miles Boykin maybe look to replace him. If he would have got that damn development up, I mean, we don't get a single breakout. You know, A lot of people are saying, wow, Justin Tucker sucks. Remember that whole time I was like, yeah, kicker doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what their name is. I don't care if it's 350 plus. That is absurd. Justin, you've got to be, you've got to be kidding me. You cannot be serious. Ah, Zedarius with an upgrade. That is pretty big. Power move it is. If you ever got to X-Factor, that'd be pretty damn insane. Well, you don't even need to be X-Factor. Just superstar in general but obviously unstoppable force is quite the good so you can see here going against the colts now who are 13 and 3 they're only an 80 overall roster though mark ingram on the team we took quentin nelson i think we definitely won that trade if safe to say what did we trade that first round pick for it was something really overpriced wasn't it yeah jonathan allen i think that's <laughs> very overpriced but it's another young player that you know we don't have to repay because once again for these fantasies especially with starting with a pretty damn good roster we usually expect to uh, only play three seasons because that's usually all it takes to at least win one and usually a good chance at a dynasty. 17-0 at half. Defense is doing really well. Offense is leaving a little bit of points on the board, but once again, defense absolutely killing it. So it should be fine, and it appears that it is. I would like a better, I would like a better performance as we almost choked it away, scoring zero, maybe even only three points in the second half. Going on... To the championship round, though, which is obviously nice. Lamar Jackson game managing it up. Any rushing numbers? Makes sense. Okay. Nick Chubb at least doing well. Did fumble, but yardage-wise looking pretty decent. Sack totals, pick totals. Interesting. Ah, Tucker, you decided to join us this time. We're going to save our coach XP until the offseason. So Ooh, this is a good matchup. Ooh, this is a good matchup. This is... Wow. Yikes, I'm scared. All right, let's see how this game goes. Jesus, they score quickly. We do score back quickly as well, just a little slower than they did. 21-7. Uh, to 28-7. Okay, this is, you know, we are known to choke here a bit, but this is looking good. It's looking good. Start of the fourth. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Guys, 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 guys. <gasps> this would be one of the biggest choke jobs in the history of choke jobs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Will it matter? Because they're probably going to score anyways. Do we stop them? What a terrible job. Oh my god. I would fire us. I would fire us. Andy Reid and company. Andy Reid on the other side of it for once. You know, not in the choke department. Just almost forced the choke. Lots of turnovers in the unconventional way. You know, 
weird interceptions where we should just be running the ball, trying to get field goals, fumble the ball. I don't like it. But what I do like is being in the Super Bowl year one with a roster that can only get better. Except for the fact that we're probably going to go broke and have to release everybody. The real question, though, is I don't know if we can really test it. I don't know if there's any way to test it, but we have to figure out if it's even worth going for pass rushers and rebuilds. Because you guys see it. 88 overall. Uh, what, what do we have? Really? Not a single offensive development up? That's harsh. Nick Chubb? Not even? Wow. Uh, I don't think we got a single player. No linebacker upgrade. No anything. We're in the Super Bowl, and we didn't even get a single dev up. Wow. But yeah, I mean, Zedaria Smith, 88, 89 overall, just could not do anything. 88 overall Saints. Wow. Okay. Yikes. That's a really good team. Of course, they score right out of the gate. We do bounce back with a pretty similar score of our own. Down by seven. It's like there's a big scoring onslaught, and then nobody can score. So you have to get you have to get at least close or a lead during that onslaught. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it at all. Offense is so inconsistent, but hey, they did it. And of course, you miss an extra point, Justin Tucker, because that's what you do. You're known to miss extra points. Fourth and three. Please tell me that counted. Oh, you can't suck that much, guys. Three yards and you run it. I mean, unless your name is Lamar Jackson, you would no reason to run it. Okay, 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 dude. Okay, we're coming in. We're making. We're winning this game. I. I'm sick of this hoopla. I don't even know what that means, but I, I said it. Dropped cleanly. I mean, that's the cleanest drop I've ever seen. Like, why does the ball bounce like that? When's the last time you guys seen the ball just bounce off of someone's hand like they were playing volleyball? It's it's literally not that hard. Like, it's literally really not that hard at all. And he drops it again. I know it's not an easy catch, right? But you catch that ball and the entire game has changed. He's like an 86 overall for us. It's a pretty good throw. Oh, my God. Like, are you for real? He's such a game changer, and yet he just can't catch the ball. Imagine not having any of your starters on the field either. All right, back up tight end. He catches better than freaking Marquise. Can Mark Andrews be trusted? Can he be trusted? What a dot. The Ravens most likely going to win the Super Bowl. I know we had to completely drive all the way down the field because this game doesn't like us, but still. But still, indeed. Gets the two-point conversion. Ravens are Super Bowl champions. Who cares? Honestly, who cares how it happens? We had the better team. We deserved it more. And I hate Justin Tucker with all my heart. Just saying. I don't understand him. Wow, that looks really cool. I like that purple. That shade of purple is nice. We're going to do some... Uh, what is that called? We're going to do some fairness to their uh, their colors in the thumbnail. we gotta we got to get something nice looking. We probably won't, but we, we should. <laughs> we should do something nice for the color scheme, but we'll see, I suppose. Player of the game going to be Nick Chubb. I feel it. I'm feeling it. Screw your four touchdowns, Lamar, whatever you had. I don't care. Nope. Give it to Nick Chubb. Give it to Nick Chubb. Nope. Give it to Chubb. He's actually... Lamar Jackson is so OP. Like, it's... I don't care what anyone says about, oh, you know, 04 Vic. Considering, you know, game coding now actually makes sense, I'd say he's probably the greatest Madden player of all time. I'd say it. You know, back then, they just didn't know what the hell they were doing. Not that they know a whole lot now, but... Considering the era of gaming we're in, and there's still a guy this OP in a sports simulation game, not that he's not that OP in real life, I think I think he's taken the crown, in my opinion. I think I think you can easily, and if not, he's by far number two. It's not even close. It's If you're not going to give him number one, he's easily number two. It's like inches away. But that's not our problem here, is it? So we win the Super Bowl, and yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. The Ravens are the Super Bowl winners, so we will have two more seasons, and let's see what that draft do. How many drop passes did this man have? Let's take a look at rushing, of course. Uh, two rushing touchdowns, not a great game at all. Let's take a look. Where is he? So he had two drops. Yeah, I don't think that's true. I thought he already he had like three just for us alone, and I'm assuming he probably dropped some during the game as well. Kicking Justin Tucker 
Extra points. He missed one. Good job, dude. It just simply isn't worth the money in this game. Like, in Madden, there's just no point. And it doesn't matter who your kicker is. They're either going to be good or bad, not based on their name at all. Let's take a look at the resign period. I don't think we have anyone here, right? Like, we had Judon, but I don't I don't think so. Marshawn Lunch. Look at my guy. They're going to do me dirty like this. They gave me pick 368. They could have just done 369, and they don't. Of course. Of course. So we have pick three. We actually have, if we can land everything, we have pretty much everything we need to move forward. Uh, if I can move back a few picks, that would be nice. I would be risking this corner that I like, though. We trade pick three for first round this year and a next year for the Falcons. A bit of risk, but corner isn't the biggest need in the world. So if they're gone, it sucks, but it is what it is. The Raiders still get their guy. The Falcons get their guy. And we're going to get our guy. I love it. So here he is. Emmanuel Matthews looks very good. Uh, potential Marlon Humphrey style player. I don't know. Okay, very good. So as long as he's not normal like we had last rebuild, he was going to be good. And he looks very solid. If his catch was a little higher, he would be insanely good. But he's still pretty. He's pretty all right. Jay, pick six, board, and a Laka for 15 for the Packers this year and then a 17 uh, projection next year. Let's take a look at what they take. Patrick Timmerman. And I think here we will be taking our defensive end. Where is he? Uh, Tracy Myrick. He doesn't look insanely good, but the top skill being A minus finesse. He's 21 years old. Once again, a little bit on the slower side and by far the best available. I don't know if there's much of a choice. Ooh, they did. In fairness, we definitely reached. However, hidden could mean anything. Could be like an X factor. A little raw, but great finesse, like we expected. Pretty damn good speed, considering. And then block shed's not terrible. Stamina's good. I mean, it's it's a great player, and you know, in a user league, you'd be pretty still pretty happy about it. You'd be like, okay, could have been better, but definitely definitely happy with it hell we might be completely saying the other thing it might be like wow what a damn good player you know i guess we're just gonna go with the wide receiver frederick hodge pretty damn fast looking probably not another guy you know style guy we need on the team but we're gonna take him anyways and 74 hidden uh obviously hidden in the first round isn't crazy hard to get when you see the combine grade so obviously good uh but yeah he's very solid as long as he's not star i'm happy we're gonna go to the fourth round where hopefully that other lineman's still there it looks pretty decent. I'd say he's probably worth the trade up if he is. Once again, there, uh, Joey Autry, another tall guy, but super strong. And more importantly, not pick 17 or whatever the hell we had. Yeah, pick 17, 15 was it? I don't know. I think it was 15. If we can even get him, because we are actually very thin on this roster, and I don't think we're gonna be able to get this lineman, which is unfortunate. Looked very good. 41 bench reps is nice, but. There's only so much you can do. We're going to get a punter here in the sixth round because, obviously, Samuel getting a little old. Old Yule. I'm, I'm sorry. Toby Franklin, uh, third best bench rest, but he did have similar to the highest skill. You know, nobody was A+. Plus, surprisingly, very good accuracy, higher than anyone else, and, obviously, awareness is going to suck. Hidden? I mean, I'm never going to really care too much. Ooh, 87 kick pop. Maybe there was better than that. Like, I'm not sure how having strong arms equivalates to, you know, I don't even know if equivalates is a word, equals a, uh, you know, strong leg. There you go, superstar, not bad at all. I mean, I definitely, I was feeling star, and now it's unfortunate because this guy I'm definitely feeling star on, which he is. Okay. Okay. I mean, actually, we should probably move him to outside linebacker right now. 77, no, 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 no. 95, 94 ago, and 94. I think I think that's an all right number. And then Frederick Hodge, hidden development, 85. We'll change that number as well to probably single digit. Jeez, this team does not have a lot of numbers free. We'll go with 11. That fits him pretty well. Another superstar. Okay, is the kick? Is this gonna be the first time we have four straight superstars? Is it? Let's be honest. He's gonna be right. He's not, but. I said it, so, you know, there was a chance it could have happened. We have absolutely no backups, and I don't know what our plan is at center. I'll take that. A fifth round and RG3 for Dalton Reisner. You know me and overtrading for youngsters. <laughs> Boykin, pick one and pick five for Devin White. They basically took our picks and run. We trade them 25 and then 25 next year for Deshaun Elliott. 
It's not for Deshaun. With a Deshaun Elliott for pick one back, I have no idea if that was even worth it. But we do have a San Reddit that we could try to use to regain a first. So we're going to be trading. So it's basically going to be three first round picks and Hassan Reddick for Devin White. Maybe, no, two first round picks and Hassan Reddick for, I don't know. So Hassan Reddick, a second and a third next year for pick six from the Giants. Definitely going to have to use one of those picks to try and, uh, you know, fix up next year's draft. But does it really matter because, once again, we're done after, you know, two more seasons. Looking pretty good, but obviously next year picks not looking so hot. So we need one of those picks to be a top five, and I think we'll be fine. The main issue is are we going to have enough money to afford this team? Look how many receivers we have, by the way. I need to turn off autofill if that's what's causing this because it is very frustrating seeing that 24-7. Trey Javon Young, Trey Quinn for next year first round from the Packers and Billy Turner with Lane Taylor because they, of course, could not afford it. So here's the starting roster. Of course, uh, the offense at this point in time is now quite a bit better than the defense with, you know, great quarterback, great running back, two great receivers, Hodge on his way up, great offensive line, great tight end. Defensively, there's still some greats, you know, cornerback, safety, not bad. Uh, Zadarius looks good. I don't know if he'll play well. D-line's decent. There's a lot of up-and-coming players. Devin White is a huge addition to the linebacking group, though, so... I mean, this is easily another playoff team. Is it another Super Bowl team, though? We're still learning. Maybe we should have went for a safety, but we uh, already traded quite a bit to get Devin White. We'll see if it was worth it or not, though. So we have some re-signings. Uh, none of those guys really matter. Where the hell are our players? Okay, here they are. Oh, we don't have to play pay Lamar yet? Hell yeah. So we have to... Oh, my Marlon. I mean, we're going to give him the seven-year deal because he's pretty irreplaceable. But, wow, a seven-year, $114 million deal. Ronnie Stanley going to be getting paid even more than this five-year, 75. But we need to pay him. Chris Godwin, wide receiver is not super hard to get, but I think we'll pay him as well. These contracts are very pricey. Jonathan Allen. Now, this is a tougher one. Power moves decent. Block shit's decent. Strength is really good. Price isn't terribly harsh. $10 million a year, though. Hmm, maybe it is a little bit tougher than I thought. Jayon will give him the deal because linebacker is not that easy to get. But I think we might have to replace Jonathan Allen. You know, we have draft picks. we got to do what we can. Replace safety uh, right end, and then we already have a punter to replace Sam. I don't understand how some of these upgrades work. Plus two to speed out of three upgrades for a guy who already had 93 speed. Okay, dude. Just like last season, winning in. And we win. Okay, I'll take it. I'm upset, Coach. Devin White had a uh, scenario week 17, which is really cool to see because that means you can get that. Uh, let's take a look at our win losses. Who the hell? Like, please tell me it was a lot of good teams against the Browns. Fair enough. Jags, not a chance. Titans, not a chance. Eagles, maybe. Bengals, not a chance. Browns twice. That's harsh, but I guess I can see it. We beat them not that much in the playoffs, actually. Lamar not really playing too well, to be honest. Rushing, Nick Chubb has been killing it in the regular season. Hodge, ton of touchdowns. Pretty spread-style offense, you know, just thrown to whoever's open, which I can respect as long as we're winning. Wish the numbers were a little bit better, but still. Of course, Jonathan Allen puts up nine and a half sacks. What is this? Zadarius Smith. Nine, almost a thousand downs played, and he comes up with three sacks are you serious myrick four and a half why are the sack numbers so bad and like what am i doing wrong i just don't get it ed mcqueen kittle mcqueen himself i doubt we would have any awards outside of well that's i'll take defense rookie of the year that's definitely nice running back perhaps number three that should be a dev up because he made the pro bowl Three, four, four linemen on the list. And I would assume that's going to be it. Yep. I mean, you guys can see right here. I'll show you guys the uh, the specialists. I think it's under specialists, right? Specialists. Zadarius Myrick. I, I don't know what to tell you. I just don't. Uh, strip specialist. Speaking of specialists. Not even as move already. Speed and Excel went up one, I believe, which is nice. Rookie's getting a lot of upgrades out here, I'll tell you. But yeah, going against the Patriots, I... Would assume they still have Brady. They do have Brady. Last season of him, most likely. I see if we can win. Obviously, we had to win year one. Could this be the first trio? I don't. I think we've had a couple, maybe two, where we went to the Super Bowl three straight years. But I don't think we won 
all three in any of those. Brady's an 87 overall. Yeah, he's gone. Ooh, this is kind of clutch. That actually kind of looks pretty sick. A snow game. They're wearing the, wearing the, the freaking reds. It's what you would expect when it's snowing for the Patriots. Defense does its job. We get the seven. They get three. We get seven again. They get seven, though, and uh oh here it is. Yeah, there's there's that magic. Up by four, looking okay. Really would have loved a touchdown there, but, you know, what can you do when you're us? Defense giving us so many opportunities, and I think defense has completely won this game for us. They have 41-24. to 24. Is Matt LaFleur their quarterback? Or their quarterback, their coach? It looked like Matt. I don't know, Tom Brady, I think that would be the final straw for him, even if, you know, he wasn't destined to retire year two in Madden. There you go, Myrick, two sacks. Like, it's just proof. Like, he gets just about half of his season total in one game in the postseason against a really good offensive line in Tom Brady. Okay, dude, the Broncos, really. Okay, Broncos are in it. There are a whole 13 overalls under us, but, you know, here comes the upset. Some rebuilds just don't make any sense, though. You got rebuilds where we, you know, we're an okay team, and then you got rebuilds like this where we can't even get a bye week as by far the best team in the league. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Browns, of course, move on. If it was the Titans, that would have been slick, but it, I don't know, it might not matter. Once again, we probably lose this. Like, if we don't win this game by at least 20, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Not looking super hot already, I'll tell you that. Seven all, 14 to seven, okay. Oh, you can't give up that touch on before half. Hopefully it won't matter. Good, once again, defense. Coming up with turnovers every single game, it seems. And we're up by 17. Okay, so not the, whoa, whoa. Not the way I wanted to win, but the score I did want to win by, you know. M late mistakes by young players. Nick Chubb killing it. Jesus, that's a great game. By the way, I don't know. Maybe you guys have noticed it. It's probably not a huge deal. Some of us only use one uh, earbud anyways. But I just looked at it and, like, my mic is kind of like, I don't know if it's broken. What's the story? But it definitely seems off. Like, if I'm way over to the left here, it's saying that it's, like, pretty even levels. Even still a little bit more to the right. I don't know if I've got, like, the wrong setting on. I don't know, but... Let me know if it really matters too much because this feels really awkward to me, but I'll finish the video like this. Some of you guys are like, please stop. Please back to the way it was. But yeah, I'd say most of us don't even use, you know, two earbuds or just in general, two headphones. Uh, Omaha, Philip Rivers has completely robbed the man. Okay. So what is, why is Philip Rivers still an X Factor? What has he done to deserve X Factor? I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. If we can beat Cleveland, we can beat anyone. Unless it's the Cowboys. <laughs> or the Saints. <laughs> oh, God. This is a real uh, shootout so far. Thank God it's not the Chiefs. But at the same time, you can see not much of a difference here. The Browns are doing well, too. Has every single drive for us been a touchdown? Oh, my God. We are impressive today. I am so proud. I that's, That might be the greatest championship performance we've ever had in a rebuild. Did we score every drive? I think we might have scored every single drive and like 95% of those drives being touchdowns. That's ridiculous. You just don't see that. Doesn't matter who your roster is. I mean, I like it. I'll take it. We're going to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls here, boys. We're going to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Seahawks, 9-6-1. All right, this is definitely destined for them to win. And of course, KJ Wright is an X-Factor for like the millionth time. Him and Demario Davis somehow always go up. I don't know if they're just put in a good situation. What's the story? Maybe they they have the certain stats like high awareness, play wreck, and tackle or something. I don't know. But, yeah, they're always, always X-Factors. It's crazy because they don't even start. They start at star. So they literally go up two dev ups every single time, two for two. It's insane. Didn't check the uh, development ups, but maybe that's going to be a, a good thing for us. 14 to 0. Maybe we've reached our peak in a good way. We've we've finally reached that potential. Thank God we didn't give up that score before half because I don't know if we have it in us. I don't know if we have it in us. Like I said, we're not really scoring, but I think they're gonna run out of time and they do. Back to back. Back to back. Nice job, Ravens. Absolutely brilliant stuff. I mean, okay. I mean, once again. This is the team you would expect to do it with. Lamar Jackson, Marquise, two very de developable players. 
Uh, of course, Lamar already there now, but even before the, when the season started, he was developable as hell. He's like 22 with Superstar. But then you add some of those pieces we added. Was Devin White worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Zadarius, it sucks that like you have a new face like Zadarius as a top-tier pass rusher. I don't know how he's not Superstar in the game, but, you know, EA going to EA and it doesn't matter because all the pass rush numbers are trash. Even, like, unless you're, like, Miles Garrett, Demarcus Lawrence, Aaron Donald, Mack, even those guys sometimes struggle to get maybe 10 to 12, and they should be guaranteed for 10 to 12 in Madden. It's just not going to happen. It's just, I don't understand why. It, it's just the numbers are terrible. They really are. They're just so terrible. And even though they did do an update, mobile quarterbacks are still terrible, too. Lamar Jackson should guaranteed have 500 yards rushing every single season, no matter what kind of playbook you run, no matter what kind of scheme, whatever you want to call it. He should always put up those numbers. He really should every single time. He should run for at least five times a game, probably for 40 yards a game at least. Does that add, add up to 15 to 500? I don't even know. 10, 40... Yeah, about six, seven hundred. I mean, my math's not terrible. You know, kind of on the fly thought process. Zidarius with a sack. They had a pick. We didn't. Tucker not needed, thankfully, because uh, he probably would have choked it and missed three field goals and an extra point, anyways. But that's right here. We might as well take a look. So not a single offensive development up again. Defensively, uh, not a single one again. Nice. I love it. But what we will get is regressions let's take a look at these guys any regression so nick chubb's a 99 overall well technically 97 arm bar apparently his second ability slot's not going to work i don't want to change his arm bar because you know this game give us something stupid like tank or something i'm just going to leave it um i know you know if abilities matter too much anyways matthew's going to move up i think and myrick went up quite a bit in overall once again i know he did make the pro bowl he did make Defensive Rookie of the Year, but still, very impressive season. He's a 95 finesse. Oh, my God. So, we need a new safety. We need a new right end, and that might be it. New right end, new safety, and that's pretty much that. We've got 15 mil to work with, but we do have some re-signing. So, if we're going to get anyone new, it's going to have to be someone cheap, and I don't know if we can do that. I told you. Look at him. I told you. All right, we have pick eight in the draft uh we have two players later but we got Aquila witherspoon so i'm not sure if we need a safety anymore this is what the safety would look like right now uh where is he witherspoon he's an 81 overall but he's got really good zone coverage and he's a bigger fella hit power sucks but i don't know if we really need a safety anymore honestly we trade geno atkins and pick 15 for pick 19 15 is a next year pick of course uh, I think we're going to try to trade this. Uh, I don't know what to do, man. I think we need two DTs. That's why I got rid of Gino. So, well, not two DTs, but you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. All right. We're all in on this draft. Pick eight and Earl Thomas for 24 and 14 next year. We are all in on this draft. Oh God, here we go. So first player is going to be D'Angelo Dugans. Looks pretty damn sick to me. We will take him. 76 overall hidden. Of course, it's kind of stupid to do this right when we're, you know, going for the three-peat. But if we are going to get this team to work out through the future, we're going to have to do something like this anyways. Uh, do we have a left end? I can't remember. I thought I had a left end. I have two safeties, and I thought it was a left end as well. Denton Lewis? No. No, maybe there's a right end. I don't think it was this guy. We do have uh, Jose Whitley. I think he's the second best option, so we're going to go with him. 73 of our hidden. A little bit raw, but he's faster. Both of those guys could probably play a uh, defensive end like on the outside if they had to. Now we have two safeties. We have Arthur Whitlock, 21, 6'2". Looks insane. But then you have a smaller guy who has way better hit power, but I don't think there's a doubt about it. Whitlock makes more sense. And 76 overall with Hidden. Okay. Hybrid UCF. Uh, UCF? USF. Um, okay. Fair enough. I don't know if we have anything else. 
let me see. We got rid of a, a DT and a safety. We needed a DT to start. Didn't even need a safety. So we filled the D-line. We filled the safety spot. And I think that's about it, right? Offensive line, perhaps. But, I mean, I don't know. I think we're good. Jay picked 24 to the Bears for 22. I don't know why no one else wanted it, but they took it. I don't know if it was a glitch or what's the story, but whatever. And then we uh, trade Justice Hill a fourth and a fifth next year for 69 from the Bears, which will allow us to get this wide receiver most likely. Guy looks off the charts. Could be one of those super steals you find late in the draft. And he is still there. Look at this guy. Looks absolutely ridiculous. We're going to take him, of course. Oh, so he's normal development. And I know that sucks for a rebuild. But in a user league, this would be quite interesting. Injury is a problem, though. So, you know, your progression could hinder with him getting injured multiple times. Toughness is rough, too. But if he can stay healthy, this is a very good player that you could obviously develop with a couple of scenarios. You know, all it takes is one scenario to get him to star. And then, you know, really good season. Boom, superstar, just like that. And that's it. We don't have anything else. Oh, there was a fullback, but eh, I really don't care. Question is, did we do enough? Because obviously we took a lot of starting talent off the roster and replaced them with rookies. Hopefully a lot of potential because, you know, they're hidden. Maybe we'll see a couple of superstars like we did last time. I'm not sure if we will, but hopefully that's the case. And let's find out. D'Angelo Dugans. I almost called him Duncans. I don't know why I keep calling him Duncan. Uh, okay, superstar. That's a great start. Are we going to see that from Whitley, though? That's the question. It's a big one. Come on, Whitley. Can you also be superstar? You cannot. Star is fine, though. Kind of. Not really, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Arthur Whitlock development is star. Okay. Now, we did have a chance at some other players. Let's take a look at who we missed. Where's the other DT? So, the other DT went 16. Marcus Whitmore. Ooh, Marcus Whitmore looking good. What's that development, though? Star, so I, I guess the first DT we took was really good. Our other DT is still fine, though. Uh, what else? So there's our safety. Here's Heyman. Hidden, of course. 21. Uh, 88 hit power. That's really good for a freaking rookie. Uh, let's take a look at the development. It is... Star. Okay, I mean... At the end of the day, I guess both players are great. It's just, you know, what do you want? Do you want the coverage? Do you want the hit power? Uh, I know Ha Ha Clinton Dix had a bit more hit power than our guy here, but almost reminds me of the Ha Ha Clinton Dix uh, Calvin Pryor draft. Very similar, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, still a really good team. Let's see if moving these guys around. We were a 95 overall before the draft. Now we're a 93. We definitely went the wrong way, <laughs> but that's fine. I think we're going to move Kemp to running back for now. I know it probably doesn't make any sense, but it's a fantasy and. You know, he's not going to play a whole lot of wide receiver, but at least if you put him at running back, maybe he'll get some snaps. Absolutely makes no sense for us to do it, but we're doing it. Doesn't move in overall. Defensively now, we see lots of blue, which is usually nice, but in this scenario, maybe not so much, as we did have a lot of great starting caliber players. But if you want to afford Lamar, you got to do these things, even though they're still first-round picks that probably costed us a lot. Every time I make a damn move, our overall just keeps dropping. But this is the roster for the final season. Uh, and Quentin Nelson's getting damn close to being max as an offensive lineman, which I have not seen in quite some time uh, defensively. This is what we're looking at. A lot of rookies. So I'm honestly surprised we're even a 91. What's the difference here? What is it, like 90? He's about to say 97 offense, 85D. Yikes. Yeah, if we don't score, we're done. Which is ironic because we've been winning on our defense. So this could go bad. Hey, look, Witherspoon went up and went to star development. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if we can afford this. This is uh, this is quite a bit of money you got there. <laughs> that's, uh, yikers. That's that's a, a lot. That's quite a bit. So he's going to be making like $40 million a year, which, you know, seems fair, right? Excited to sign? I would assume you're excited to sign, pal. <laughs> Gwen Nelson, can we even afford? Well, it's an offensive lineman, so we got to go for players we have to keep. Uh, you know, Mark Andrews, that's a guy we have to keep because he's a tight end, not easy to find. What else do we have? Uh, Orlando Brown, offensive lineman. Maybe not a have-to-keep player, but he is a tackle. He's very good. We're going to keep him. And I think, even though I love Nick Chubb and I think he's killing it, I think you kind of have to let him go. I really do. Let's give 
Quentin Nelson a seven-year deal. I think he that really we don't have enough how do we not have enough i'd like a better salary than i'm offering a pretty good salary pal actually maybe i wasn't seven year 94 million dollar deal for quentin nelson locked up for life of course cannot afford nick chubb and it sucks that's just the way it's got to be all right heads to the playoffs you know the gotta win to get in i don't know if that's the case this time we look like we're off to a really good start so i would assume a pretty good finish and we got a bye week 14 and 2 finally a bye week don't have to play the three dreaded games. We get to take a relaxation. We lost to the Chiefs and the Browns, and then outside of that, we just dominated, which is ironic as our defense is worse than ever. Uh, passing, you know, nothing crazy from Lamar yet again. Rushing Nick Chubb, probably finally about to get to Superstar X Factor, which is ironic, but what is that the change to a scheme that's more pass-heavy? Zadarius finally uh, does pretty damn well. Dugans does really well as well. Uh, pick totals, nothing insane as usual. Tucker missing two, which is meh. I don't know. I, it's a lot for him, but in Madden terms, it's it could be worse. Any rookie awards? Dugans. Is his name Dugans or Duggins? I don't care. Dugans sounds cooler. It really doesn't, but it sounds cooler to me. Best running back, Nick Chubb. Best O-line. Five players on the top seven. And no other wins. So Myra gets his other ability, which will be edge threat. Interesting. And here we are with a 93 overall. 99-0. 80-70. I am uh, pretty impressed with the roster we've built. Once again, it sucks. Nick Chubb is going to have to be on his way out. But still, god damn. Imagine having to get rid of that. That's just... That's painful. That's painful to watch. And then defensively... Yeah, I mean, Peters is going up pretty decently considering Matthews. I suppose Matthews hasn't started, and he probably should have. But, yeah, I mean, Peters is keeping up. He's doing all right. And then, of course, we know Witherspoon got that breakout. The only one in the entire video. Can we get the three, Pete? Can we do it? Let's go. Ah, a little bit of snow in Baltimore. Gotta love it. Is it doable? Is it doable? Let's see. They win. We win. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. 14 to 7. 14 all. Here we go. Right before half. This would be clutch. They get we get three. Nice. Start of the second half, though. They score very quickly. Another shootout, huh? Oh god. I don't know if we have it. I don't know if we have it. I think we lost. Okay, offense. Third and three and thirteen. Down fourteen. You run the ball, and they're leaving Andrews open, huh? They better have a linebacker over top. They better have a linebacker over top. Okay, they're a lot faster than I thought. <gasps> Mark! Marky Mark! Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Could you imagine hitting a move like that? Beautiful. I'm going to take a look back at this. I actually... Are they, nah, they were going to show... Wait, are they going to show it? I'm stupid. God damn, what a difference maker. Perfect throw on the money running his ace off we cut they run into each other <laughs> oh that was so cool oh ward would be so pissed absolute miss from the youngster greedy williams kills his own guy look at that and then you know you're not going to be able to tackle anyone from behind in this game sorry pal this is gonna be a third down and three i'm gonna just choose game really this is what they want to do i'll go overload three press Got some youngster safeties. They're really going to throw the ball. Hell, why not when you got guys like Peters just lost? Absolutely lost. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll play this out, but I don't think I think it's uh, first round exit. Yeah, maybe we didn't want that bye week after all. <laughs> there is some weather, so you never know. But I don't know. I'm going to say Mark Andrews, pretty solid. Got to say it. Oh my god, they they have the biggest set of sackage I've ever seen. Second down, they run an RPO. All they have to do is run the ball out. And they're like, you know what? We've seen enough of you guys. And we, of course, lose the game, unfortunately. Let's take a look at the stat line. That's unfortunate. But, of course, back-to-back -back is still nice. Nick Chubb, 4.5, but no touchdowns. Touchdowns matter, boys. Mark Andrews had a game. Of course, well... He was like 50 yards, two touchdowns. But still, even that's better than most of the guys on the team. We'll take a look at who wins the Super Bowl, see if there's any development ups, and if we were to ever come back to this, which I would highly doubt it because 
I don't know if we're going to come back to any of them, let alone one that was so good already. Uh, we'll see who, you know, went up in development. Texans versus the Cowboys. The Texans win. Let's take a look. I would assume Nick Chubb finally went to X Factor. He did, finally. Let's see what he got anyways. Protective custody. Interesting. Yeah, I'd be pretty disappointed with that. Let's take a look at the defense. I don't think there was a development up here either. Peters is going down. Uh, he's yelling, Tim. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. Goal line stuff. That's a really good ability. Let's take a look at some of the guys, though. Let's, uh, you know, Chris Godwin. 99 catching. Absolutely insane. What's his run block? 54. That's why, you know, run block does matter because it's like the one uh, stat you can't upgrade. So, you want a guy with a couple of good base stuff, base stats. Marquise Brown, absolutely insane. What's his run block? 41. Interesting. Lamar Jackson, 99 overall, looking very solid. Throw power could do better. Medium could be better, but overall he's pretty good. I'm surprised his medium isn't better than that. Let's take a look at Mark Andrews because he was actually the guy for us, especially when we had a play. Very good player. Considering, that's very good. You know, deep, medium, short, looking very good. Uh, defensively, what else do we have? No one really insane that I would care about. Maybe we'll take a look at uh, Marlon real quick. Good man coverage corner. But yeah, I mean, that's going to be the Baltimore Ravens fantasy rebuild. I was going to do a Niners or a Seahawks, but we obviously just did a Seahawks. And then Niners, we did a realistic and fantasy this year. So unfortunately, couldn't do a, a rebuild based around that huge matchup tonight. But that's beside the point. It was still a fun one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, maybe like and subscribe. Maybe follow me on Twitter at Jerome P. Care. And maybe check out my second channel, PK Air Plays. I don't know. Maybe you want to watch some Pokemon or something. I don't know. Beats me. Anyways... If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below, whether, you know, rebuild challenge, uh, you know, player idea for the Blast in the Past series, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video, but until next video, see ya!